Volumes. There are several methods of persisting data in Docker, the first being bind mounts, stored anywhere on the host system, and non-Docker processes on the Docker host or a Docker container can modify them at any time. Volumes, which is the most recommended method, are stored in a part of the host file system managed by Docker. Non-Docker processes should not modify this part of the file system. Lastly, in Linux-only systems, TMPFS mounts, and they're stored in the host system's memory only. There are several advantages of using volumes. Volumes are easier to back up or migrate than bind mounts. You can manage volumes using Docker CLI commands or the Docker API. Volumes work on both Linux and Windows containers. Volume drivers let you store volumes on remote hosts or cloud providers to encrypt the contents of volumes or to add other functionality. New volumes can even have their content pre-populated by a container. Now let's check. Bind mounts can be stored anywhere on the host system. Volumes are stored in a part of the host file system managed by Docker. TMPFS mounts are stored in the host system's memory only.